everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion and I have the one for dry skin or smoothing as it also says on there. That's two ways to figure out which one this is when you go to the store. Um, so this product says that you use your normal shower product and rinse off. Apply this lotion on wet skin while still in the shower and avoid applying to the bottom of the feet. You rinse body and then it says thoroughly clean tub slash shower with hot water after usage to remove residue and avoid slipping. Four, dry yourself, get dressed and go. Um, so this is supposed to be an in-shower moisturizer so you don't have to apply lotion when you get out of the shower. So that is a great concept, especially if you're a parent or on the go, you know, and you just don't, you know, who wants to take that extra time to apply lotion afterwards, wait for it to set in and get your clothes on. So I'm going to share with you today my thoughts on this product and if it's worth it. To get started with this product, um... I feel like it was created in comparison with the Lush Rose Arden. So this retails for between six to seven dollars um, at local drugstores, you know, at Ulta and things like that. You can probably find manufacturer coupons or some sort of discount at the location you go to use on that at different times. And the Lush Rose Argan retails for $33.95, plus you have to pay shipping on that because there's not a lot of Lush occasions. Like if I wanted something from Lush, which I've sadly never got to purchase anything from there, I have to pay shipping costs. So that would be even more compared to going to the store and picking this up. So this sounds like a great option. So the pros that I have for this are two, the price. <laughs> And then secondly, that the product is not greasy when you apply it. So you don't Now with that said, I felt like when I applied this product, there was legitimately no difference in my skin. I didn't feel more moisturized at all. It actually added steps in my routine because as you see in the steps listed on the back of the packaging here, it tells you on step three, not only do you need to apply this, rinse it off, but you also need to wash or shower every time after you use this product. So that just added an extra step right there. Also, it added a second additional step since not only did I not feel like moisturized afterwards, I still needed to apply my regular lotion. Um, so I didn't feel like that was really conducive to, you know, the time saving aspect that it, you know, seemed like it would provide. It also says that it provides 24 hours, over 24 hours of moisture. I feel like that's a, a false claim as well because I didn't feel moisturized at all, let alone like 24 hours of continuous moisture. So when I looked at the ingredient list, I really didn't see much in there to be moisturizing. The 10th ingredient in this product was um, the actual shea butter. So I don't feel like there was much in it to moisturize. Um, I also checked um, Paula Choice Beautypedia, which if you don't know, I just recently discovered, I'm sorry about that. Um, I just recently discovered is a um, it's a great site that gives like you can search many products and it gives reviews on the actual scientific based on the ingredients how that product is going to affect you know yourself and whether or not it works. Um, lastly, I wanted to talk about fragrance. There's a very fine scent to it, like a very subtle scent. Um, it didn't bother me. I'm really sensitive to fragrances, so there's that. But with that, whether or not it's like highly fragrant or not, there are fragrance ingredients, so that can be harmful um, and cause damage to your skin, whether or not you see it or notice it. So that's something else to keep in mind. So overall, while there are, you know, cost benefits to this getting this product over maybe investing in the Lush Rose Argan, which I feel like this was kind of a drugstore dupe for, I don't feel like this product is worth it. Now, I've only tried this blue, the light blue Nivea, which is the second one. So there's a white one. I'm not sure exactly what that is for normal skin. This is the one for dry skin. And then they were out of the one for very dry skin, which I was interested in trying. They were out of that, so I went with this one. There's also another white one with cocoa butter um, in it. <coughs> As well, and I haven't tried that either. I've only tried this one. Uh, I just went onto the website um, when I was doing some research to give this review. And if you go on there right now, you can actually um, 
order a free sample, and I don't believe you have to pay shipping for it. I believe it's just a little packet, and it's of either the very dry skin or I believe the cocoa butter one. So if you're interested in giving that a try out, that's something that I discovered. Uh, of course, this is not sponsored. They don't even know who I am or that I'm making this video. But I just thought I would share my thoughts and opinions because I did invest in this product, and I didn't feel like it was worth it. So um, let me know if you've tried this out and if you've had any better luck with it or if maybe one of the other versions of this in-shower body lotion works better for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!